your mind doesn't go anywhere. It is just that you're being deceived by the imagination of your mind. It is sitting here and imagining something. It is not going anywhere, but you are so identified and lost that you think the mind is going somewhere. Mind doesn't travel anywhere, it's very much here, isn't it? You need to understand this. Why your mind is going on with uncontrollable, endless thought is, you are identified with things that you are not. The moment you get identified with something that you are not, then mind is non-stop activity. You are identified with too many things and you are trying to stop your mind, I am telling you, if you try for a million years, it's not going to happen. It cannot happen. If you take away your wrong identifications, then you will see this moment, mind will be just like a mirror, not saying anything, just reflecting everything. That's how mind should be. Your mind is a mechanism, works best only when there is clarity in it, isn't it? Your mind is not here to think up all kinds of fancy things. That's a distraction in life. Your mind is here to give you clarity and penetration into life. But right now, mind is just a huge ball of confusion. Simply because you got identified with so many things that you are not, and now you are trying to hold it back, there is no way to hold it back. You ate very bad food, now there is gas in the stomach. You can't hold it. You've eaten bad food, the consequence is there. You got wrongly identified with too many things, now this is going on endlessly. You cannot stop it, it doesn't matter what you do. You think of God, God himself will go to take you to many places. Now you're sitting here and you're trying to meditate, but you're thinking of your bar or restaurant or friend or cinema or something. Now people told you, think about God, everything will be okay. If you think about Rama or Krishna, then you will find, you will go to cinema with Rama. That's the nature of the mind. Rama himself will take you to the bar, Rama himself will take you to the restaurant. You can't stop it, because you got me yourself identified with things that you are not. No way to stop it. So what's being done here is not about controlling your mind, to bring an awareness as to what you are not. Right now, to start with, the most fundamental identity is your body. Your identity value with your body, the clothes that you wear, your hairstyle, your goatee also, aren't you? Very much identified, isn't it? Your wife, your children, your family, your education, your religion, endless number of identifications. With all these identities, you want a quiet mind, there's no such thing. That's why we gave you a simple device called Shunya, where you create a little distance from the mind. Once distance happens, even if it's a noisy mind, still it doesn't matter. Disengaging from the mind. Once you're disengaged from the mind, you're disengaged from all identity, because it's the mind which manufactures identifications, isn't it? So, don't think of all kinds of things, just employ the device. Things will happen, things that you have not imagined will happen. The question, how to attain a peaceful mind, arises in the mind of every person who starts walking on the spiritual path. I'm sure you would be shocked to know that this is an absurd question. The question, how to attain a peaceful mind, is an absurd question, because there is no such thing as a peaceful mind. Peace and mind are two different and opposite things. Mind can never be peaceful because peace happens only when there is no mind. Peace is your very nature, but it gets covered by the mind. Peace comes from beyond the mind. 
So if you really want to experience the peace which passes all understanding, then try to attain the state of no mind, a state where there is not the slightest flicker of thought. Peace is possible only without the mind. Remember, peaceful mind is just like the phrase healthy disease. Can a disease be ever healthy? Tell me. And exactly like the peaceful mind, silent mind is also a misleading term because silence is not possible as long as the mind exists. Mind means noise. So when you say silent mind, basically what you mean is noisy silence, which is which again is an absurd thing. So silence is possible only without the mind. So never try to attain a silent mind. If you ever do so, you are already moving in a wrong direction. To go beyond the mind, you have to know the true nature of the mind. Then only the transcendence happens. Then only the state of no mind is attained. The first thing that you need to know about the mind is that there is no such thing as the mind. If you look within yourself, you will never come across any entity called the mind. Mind is nothing but the collection of thoughts. It is just like the crowd. Have you really seen the crowd? There is no such thing as the crowd. Crowd simply means a group of individuals. You see only a group of individuals and you say, I see a crowd. So this is the first step and the most important one. Just see the thoughts as thoughts. One thought moves, another comes. But in between two thoughts, there is always a gap. You cannot have two thoughts at the same time. Yes, you cannot have two thoughts at the same time. You cannot think two thoughts at the same time. So one thought comes followed by a gap, then comes another thought. Most of the people remain unconscious, so they are unable to recognize this gap. Thoughts move so fast within them that they cannot recognize this gap and they feel that there isn't any gap between the thoughts. It is just like the cloudy sky. When the clouds get thicker, you cannot see the vast blueness of the sky. And it may seem to a child that there is no such thing as the blue sky. But as the gap happens between two clouds, you have a peek into the vast blueness of the sky. In the same way, as you become more and more aware you will be able to experience the gap between the cloud of thoughts. And in those gaps, you will have a peek into your divine, infinite nature. Awareness is all that is needed. Consciousness is all that is needed. The purpose of all meditative practices is nothing but to make those gaps happen. As your awareness grows, thoughts will become less and gaps will happen more often and you will be able to experience gaps for longer period of time. So become more and more aware and meet the real you between two thoughts. Become more and more conscious and recognize your divine infinite nature between two thoughts.